Hello Capricorn, this is your X reading for the 7th to the 13th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what we've got going on for Capricorn. Hmm. Starting over, I feel a lot of you are doing things... Um, that's going to bring you some financial success here. That's typical Capricorn and love. Um, hmm, okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Um, needing to talk. Needing to talk about something, I feel. Okay. And um, I feel like it's something that, you know, there's just something eating at you. And I don't feel like this is something that has just happened. I feel like this is this is something that you want to discuss um, that has happened, you know, before in the past. Is what I'm getting from you guys, okay? And here you are with the Queen of Swords, seeking the truth, okay? Seeking the truth about, you know, whether or not, you know, I think you're trying to decide whether or not, you know, to be by yourself or share your love with somebody. Because somebody is hot on your trail. They are hot on your trail after being stuck for a while here. Hmm, Piscean energy. Um, but I feel like before you actually like get back into something with a person or either, um, yeah, it would be get back into something with a person if you share this broken heart with them, okay? This disappointment. So, you know, Obviously, it's probably this person that um, we're doing the reading for right now. But there's definitely something you want to talk about before, you know, you get all into a connection with this person again, I feel. Um, maybe they, you know, weren't giving you enough time. Maybe they weren't all in. Maybe they were going out partying or, you know, just not being present in the situation, okay? Currently, they are the King of Swords. I see you guys are a match here. Um, but this person is, they can come across, across kind of aloof, you know, like, you know, they're not really offering their emotions that much, like they maybe don't care that much, and, and um, but they do, I feel, they do. And I think they're really, you know, taking this time to, like, evaluate their own behavior here, okay? I really do, because I feel like, you know, there's a very strong attachment with this person. I feel like this person loves you. And maybe they haven't shown it a lot. Maybe they have acted like they were in two minds, kind of indecisive. Maybe they were going out and partying, acting like they wanted to be single when they really did want this Ten of Pentacles with you. They felt very at home with you. Felt like you guys could have it all. But there's a very... Um, there, There's an energy here that was very destructive. Okay, and I feel like it was like mostly their aloofness, them acting like they didn't care, um, maybe some codependency here even, okay? So, let's see how you view your ex. Mm. Three of Pentacles, I see when I split the deck there. Maybe you feel like this person had you in a third-party relationship, okay? Working with other people. Maybe they're not doing so now when I saw the Four of Swords there, but um, there's definitely something you want to discuss here, I feel, with this person. You guys have the Magician there. I see. Let's see how you perceive them. Six of Pentacles. Maybe you do feel like they are um, still involved with somebody. Still giving, lending their energy to, you know, another situation. Not giving you what you need. Okay. Yeah, you want to talk about this. Look at the Queen of Swords. She's still there. You want to talk about this shit, you know. Otherwise, there is a no-go here. Let's see what their perception of you is. Let's see what Capricorn's ex's perception of them is. The King of Pentacles I saw right there. Um, I don't know. Maybe they want you guys to, you know, behave more in your feminine energy. Be more receptive here, okay? Show your confidence. Show your strut. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, I see right there. Be more alluring. The Empress. Mm. They see growth and abundance with you, for sure. They see, they know that, um, you know, you, you're sexy. You are alluring. 
but I feel like sometimes you guys may come across a little controlling to this person okay kind of mothering is what I'm getting from this and really not showing like you know that lovers aspect you know that sort of thing but they see growth and abundance they see happiness with you they really do but I kind of I kind of get the sense that they feel like a lot of times you guys have your thumb on them and not being more like their partner okay so let's see what your feelings are about getting back together here Capricorn's feelings about getting back together what are Capricorn's feelings about getting back together Hmm. I think you kind of go back and forth. You know, in one sense you want to like do what it takes to bring this back together, and then in another, another sense you want to move on. You feel like you know it's, it's too burdensome for you. Let's see. Hmm. You're conflicted. Back and forth, back and forth. Like you know, I feel like you've invested a lot of time here, so. You know, you kind of want to be with this person because, you know, you have invested a lot into this relationship. But at the same time, it's like, you know, should I stay here? Should I be here? Am I better off by myself? You know, and I think you kind of go back and forth about that. So you're kind of conflicted about that. And I think you really need some clarity is what I'm getting from you. You need some clarity about the situation. You need to know if they're actually seeing someone, if they are actually still involved with one particular person is what I'm getting here. Yeah, did they leave from one person or, you know, something like that. You need some truth and you need like them to be really committed all in. <clears throat> Let's see what their feelings are about getting back together. Hmm. I feel like they definitely want to. Definitely. I feel like this person loves you. I feel like they would accept you back in a heartbeat. Um, and they would come back in a heartbeat if they knew you would accept them. And so I don't know if it's actually you guys that needs to initiate or the other person. Only you guys know your own separate situations here, okay? So, but I think they are definitely open to it and wants to. I don't really feel like this person is involved with anybody else, to be honest with you. Okay. I really don't. I think there was somebody here. But I don't think there is now. Let's see how you, you can bring this thing back together here. How can Capricorn bring this? Look at that. <clears throat> Reconnect. Okay. Figure out what it is that you want. Figure out what it is that you want. Because you're kind of going back and forth. Exploring your options. Going over things in your head. But what is it that you truly want in your heart? It's to get clear. Okay? Because you're conflicted here. Decide what it is that you want. Okay? And reconnect. If this person has reached out to you to try to reconnect, then I would say, yeah, with the magician energy there, there there's a need for you to initiate. Okay? But again, you guys know your situations. So, you know, take it at how it resonates for you guys. Okay? Let's see how can they increase the chances of getting back together here. Capricorn X, how can they increase the chances of getting back together here? Hmm. I think they really need to, you know, recognize that. Look at their past behaviors. See how they have acted. Um, how it has contributed to you know what's going on right now because we see what they want to do right here This is how they feel about getting back together But we also see what they've been doing very aloof um, Maybe kind of arrogant about it Pointing fingers, you know not taking responsibility and I feel like this is them, you know recognizing their own behaviors, you know and, and trying to adjust here because this hermit is looking for their life partner. Looking for you. Okay. Looking for you. So let's see what the possible outcome is for Capricorn and their ex. What is the possible outcome for Capricorn and their ex? 
possible outcome for Capricorn in their ex. What is a possible outcome here? Seven of Swords. <laughs> well, not the best of energy, but you know, it's coming back in. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that um, this person, somebody's coming back because they feel like it is the best thing for them not necessarily for the other person not necessarily for the good of the relationship okay but for them and they're not really using any emotion in this it's all logical thinking all reasoning you know um so somebody's coming back i, I definitely feel like that um and soon and soon but I feel like in coming back they're also you know leaving a situation behind that um, that they left without you know having any integrity not doing it the right way um, ghosting sneaking out you know that sort of energy here but nevertheless you know they're doing it for their benefit okay so we have Aquarius we have Virgo um, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy here, maybe Aries, uh, Libra, and um, any water sign I feel, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and uh, that's, a, that's it. Maybe uh, Gemini as well here. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you, but you know, the thing is, yeah. I mean, you are where it's at for sure. Um, but I think this person needs some work, honestly. I think I think they need um, some healing. I think they really need to take accountability for their actions because um, I, I think they're leaving like a storm in their wake. Whenever they leave, it's like, you know, it's stormy. It's not calm at all. Okay? So I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.